Good afternoon everyone, welcome to this week's edition of my cross-stitching progress, my floss tube channel. Um, I'm going to try and do a relatively quick video today. Uh, we have workmen here, so I've had to kind of shut the blinds a little bit um, because they're going to keep walking past my window um, and I don't really want them staring at me holding my cross-stitch up. So uh, I'm going to try and keep on track and just um, short and sweet today. I've got three projects this year and I've got um, some haul. Um, I have currently got four other purchases of varying num um, quantity. Each thing has a few things in it, that's probably the way to say it. Um, four other things making their way towards me. Um, no, three, because the fourth one still hasn't shipped yet. And that's the one that's got the wood trail in that I need for my harvest keeper, so I'm a bit annoyed about that. Um, so I've got three projects and some haul, and I'm trying not to sidetrack, but I've already sidetracked in the first minute. Okay, so I am on project three of my rotation currently. So last week I had project two and the start of project three to show you. I think that's right. Uh, so project two is the village of Hawk Run Hollow by Carriage House Samplings. Um, I've completed block one and I'm on block two and the last time you saw it all I had done is the word saint and the greenery around it. I have added a bit more above the word saint. Oops, wrong part. I can't even see where it is. So I have got a bit of the fence and then the start of the tree trunk and the greenery around it. I've got a bit of a bad attitude about stitching this. Nothing to do with the piece, it's me. Because I know this is going to take me five or six years to do, I'm like, well, if I miss a day or two, it doesn't really matter. It's going to take years anyway. So I only gave this two days of its four, which is really naughty. I need to um, have a word with myself. Okay, and then project... Oh, just a quick... Um, I did... This is my project nine, actually. It's a small at the moment. I just threw this in because I wanted to do it, which is the scissors, antique scissors and spools by uh, Shakespeare's Peddler. And it's just a small thing, and I thought I could just do a little bit of this every now and again, as well as in my free slot days. So, um, probably the last time you saw it was in around here. I had done some stuff. So I've just added some more scissors possibly that one and the spool, and I did that one yesterday. So this is just on a raw linen. I think it's 32 count and it's using um, my beloved Presidential Blue by Gentle Arts. Okay, project three, which is also my focus piece in my rotation to try and get it done, is Harvest Keeper by Plum Street Samplers. And I have completed all of that and now I'm over here. So I've got two pink flowers. So the bigger flower at the bottom is actually what's on her bum, on her dress. But I can't do the dress because that requires wood trail which has not shipped yet. Um, and I only have two strands, basically one length of wood trail which I'm not using. I'm, I'm going to do everything other than wood trail at the moment because I need wood trail in the vine. All, all these acorns here have a bit of wood trail in them. Um, so I've got all of those to do around here and her dress has a major bit of wood trail so I'm just going to do what I can do while I wait for that to turn up. Um, but yeah. I feel like I can see the light at the end of the tunnel, even though I've still got all the leaves and acorns to do around the vine and her and a couple more bees. Now that, that this half has got stuff in it again, I, I feel I can see the, the light at the end of the tunnel. I had a goal of having this finished by the end of August. We, we might get there. We'll try. That's my plan. Okay. My bit of haul today, um, one, two, three, yeah. I ordered, 
that'd be the presidential blue laugh. More presidential blue. Uh, so I've just ordered four more of those, just basically stockpiling um, is what I'm doing. Because if I have this plan of a presidential wall to blue, presidential blue wall to be, I'm going to need loads of this. So I got four of those. I got some replacement endive for um, Garden Club series because I've just about finished that in the first three charts. And it's in, I would think this is on just about every one of the 12 parts. So I got two. Um, and two of the, I think there are four colours in part four. All right, let me recap. When I kitted up Blackbird Designs Garden Club series, which is the project I will pick up after I, Harvest Keeper has finished its four days, I only kitted up the threads for the first three parts. So when I was placing this order, I had to look at part four to see what I needed. So these two, which are terracotta and uniform blue, I need for, the, for that. Um, plus two others, which one is coming in another order and one is coming in another order with the wood trail. So that at least gives me all the threads up until the end of part four. Um, and I can look at part five when I'm part way through part four. Okay. The rest of my haul. I ordered the six parts I think that are out so far for the Fragments in Time 2018 by Summerhouse Stitchworks. And... I'm a little bit more on the fence now. I like them on the website, but I don't know that I like them in person. So this is part one. I do like them. I just, yeah, I don't know. I think I've reached stash acquiring burnout, I think is my problem. I'm just buying stuff and I don't really need to now. So I'm really trying to just keep to one order a month for the farmhouse Christmases. Um, part three, which is quite nice and not do anything else and I wouldn't have gone anywhere else if one two three stitch had had wood trowel in stock because the other threads I could have waited for I just needed wood trowel but part four it's it's okay maybe it's just the colors maybe I need to just think about the colors there it's 51 by 51 each one and there is a complimentary I read somewhere Complimentary border pattern on the Summer House Facebook page. So I'll have a look at that. That's part six. I don't know how many parts there are, but I'll keep an eye out that anyway, and I probably will just get them. <sighs> the next one I ordered, people will probably wonder why I have ordered this here in the South Island of New Zealand in the middle of winter. I really like this. I like the graphic look of it, and I like the little saying. Um, and it's completely the wrong season and we don't celebrate the 4th of July in New Zealand. But I just liked it and I decided I was getting it. This is knee high. Is it actually just called? Yeah, knee high. I love sweet corn. I love barns. So I just thought, you know what, I do like it. It doesn't really matter that it's American-ish. I like it, so I bought it. And then... I will get these ones out. The last two things that I got, and I don't know where the shipping label is now, I got two of these little packs of Prairie Schoolers, which I'll, I'll open each one. Um, I want to say it's pack C and pack D, but I could be wrong. Um, there's actually nothing on these to say what they are. It was ju it's just what's on the shipping thing, and I think it's somewhere not handy. Anyway, we'll go through them. They're very tightly packed. So the first one is that one. This is quite nice. This will definitely be done at some point. I do like very smaller stuff. American Eagle. Little winter scene. I quite like this. Partridges. No man. Sorry, my hand's not holding it very still. Oops. Another little Father Christmas. And another Father Christmas. I like this one. 
um, a little house with a bunny and a, a, almost like a little samplery type square and these are I worked out 10, 20, 30, 40, no more than 40 by 40 pretty much all right so that's one pack the other pack 10 minutes is a little I want to say partridge. Oh yeah, it's got pears on it. So partridge in a pear tree. Bright Rachel. And little ABCs. This is sweet. Little beep. Nice snowman. Another little house that says rain. Nice uh, Father Christmas. Quite like him actually. Didn't look at him closely before, but I like him. Another July square. A little ABC Christmas tree, I'd say. Another little barn, I'd say. That's a barn. It's quite nice. And this little flowery piece. So those are the two little packs. So that's my lot. Um, thanks for everyone. Um, Acknowledging the Know Your Needle Worker last week, tag, questions, answers. Um, as I say, I'm trying to keep it short and sweet. They haven't walked around the front of the house, so I'm I'm going to get there without having to retake, I think. Um, so I've got two more days of Harvest Keeper, and then it's Garden Series Club, uh, and then the free slots, I'm not sure. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So... The free slots, I think, start next Monday. Um, and that's about it. I shall leave you. Uh, there might be some haul next week. I have actually brought some things off a buy-sell site in New Zealand, on a Facebook group, a cross-stitch page for New Zealanders. I brought three charts and some fabric. Um, so those hopefully will be here by next week, so I'll have those for show and tell. Hopefully the package that hasn't been sent will be sent and the other two, I have no idea when they're going to turn up. So we shall just see. Anyway, right, stop being sidetracked and waffling. I shall go. I hope you get to stitch everything you wish to stitch and I will catch you next week for some further progress. Thanks everyone. Bye bye.